Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. It's the first game in the month of June between the Tennessee Smokies and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. At the plate, Roberto Caro. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Count now at two and two. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Gerwitz has a play, and that's the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Zach Davis. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. He's having another rock-solid year. He's been slumping a little bit at the plate recently. We'll see if he can pick it up here in this one. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Pulled toward right center field. Way is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Ready now, Ian Rice. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ian Rice. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. Settling in now, Zane Gerwitz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two two. Liner towards second. Oh, and this deflects right off him. In now, Roberto Baldacchini. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. Now with the plate, Bo Way. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Strike taken up in the zone. This one's down to third. He's got it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now in the box, Jordan Zimmerman. He did back not play four. last night, but the clearly back in the starting nine Jordan. for this one. Zimmerman. Hard hit ball to second, but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Into the box now, Christopher Morell. He'll get us started in the top of the second. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. At the plate, Brennan Davis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. In there at the letters, one and two now. Ball two. The two two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land out there just foul. No score here as we play inning number two. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Young will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. That is good. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Gutierrez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he fouls this one off. And there's a base hit on the line. That is seven. The second baseman, Trent. Jimbroni. Standing in now, Trent Jimbroni. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Brendan Sanger. Now the 2 1 pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Right fielder coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The dedicated hitter. So now to the plate, Connor Justice. A ball and two strikes. A double play ball to second. Four, six. Three, but it's not in time, and they'll just get the one. Stepping in, Kevin Maiton. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Fouled off. Here he comes again, one, two. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however, to second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So striding in, Edwin Young. Maiton, the runner at first with two gone. Throw over to the bag, and a dive, but he's back in. A swing and a fly ball, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. In now, Alfonso Rivas. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The one two lifted the other way down the left field line and this will fall but it's a foul ball. The one two checked his swing there and did he go. No he did not says the third base umpire ball two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Alfonso Rivas goes down for the first out here in inning number three. A ball and two strikes now. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Even count two balls and two strikes. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Zach Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. Still one and two. And he struck him out.
Into the box, Jack Kruger, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1 1 home. Misses, ball two. All even now, two and two. Pitch on the way. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Striding in, Zine Gerwitz. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Digging in for his second at bat, Roberto Baldoquin. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So digging in now, Ian Rice, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Stepping in now, Christopher Morrell. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. The second for one. Return throw not in time, and that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. Stepping up now, Brennan Davis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a throw over to first. Runners back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now. Designated hitter, Jose Gutierrez. At the plate now, Jose Gutierrez. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Now a long throw to third. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Now back. Second baseman. Trent Jimbroni. Into the box, Trent Jimbroni. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. At the plate, Alfonso Rivas, and their runners at the corners now. One and two. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this in and get out of hand. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Bo Way. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Ah. 
line drive to center field. Davis is right there, one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Two balls and two strikes now. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Coming to the plate now, Brendan Sanger. He singled his last time up. 1 2. Fouled away. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Eric Pendio, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Stepping up to the plate, Ramos Ademan. He drew a walk his first time up. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Baldokin onto the grass, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. Digging in once the again, right Roberto Caro. Roberto. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And there's out number two. Ready once again, Zach Davis. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. He loses him on ball four. The catcher, number 13, Ian Wright. The 1-1 one, one. misses for the second ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and striding forward the designated hitter Connor Justice. Now the one and one pitch. Well that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Striding into the box Kevin Maiton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air, down the line and left. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Now back, Edward. At the plate, Edwin Young. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there are two away now. So stepping in, Jack Kruger, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. Now back, second baseman, Dave Gerwitz. 
to the plate now. Zane Gerwitz. Fastball called strike. One and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Christopher Morrell. Slap hard the opposite way, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now that the seventh fielder, Brennan Davis. In now, Brennan Davis. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now that designated hitter, Jose Gutierrez. Into the box now, Jose Gutierrez. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score as that run breaks the tie and makes this a two to one ball game. Standing in, Trent Jimboni. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. The first base number 17. Alfonso at the plate Rivas. now. Alfonso Rivas. Line hard toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And not in time as the run scores. The bat number 11. Short shot. Arama. So Ademan. now to the plate. Arama Sadiman. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and he popped him up. Over in foul territory back behind third. Zimmerman is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Now battle. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Roberto Caro. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Line to the right side. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Into the box, Roberto Baldacchini. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The one two. Three balls, two Bo Way is on deck. Now the three and two pitch is at the knees and called strike three. Stepping into the box. Bo Way. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 1-1. One, one. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. No hits to this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. For the current campaign, Zimmerman is carrying a slugging percentage under 350. Needless to say, he's not a... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Jeremy Rhodes is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 40. Stepping in, Zach Davis. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 2 1. And 
a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in, Ian now Rice. Back. It Cut. was a flyout yeah. for him in his last trip. Right. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men now he back. faces out of the bullpen. The Christopher Morrell. 1-1. One, one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Maiton is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Brendan Sanger. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. This is line to left, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The batter, number seven. At the plate, Connor Justice, line towards center field. Davis has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Trying to pick things up now where he left off. Kevin Maiton, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Digging in. Edwin Young. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Edward. Young. The 1-1 home. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 ball game. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order hit the other way out toward right field long run for the right fielder he tracks it down and that will end the inning Kyle Keller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth number 68 digging in and looking for more Brennan Davis he scored after reaching on a single in his last time up The one two. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Waldo King will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Jose Gutierrez. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Trent Jimbroni waits on deck. Hit on the ground is short. He's got it. And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Trent Jimbroni. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Bases are empty here with two men out. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and he has some trouble with it, but they'll get the out at first anyway. And that, rather bizarrely, will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Jack Kruger. And they'll need him to get something going here. The 1-1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that'll get down for a base hit. The batter number 19. Second base 
Beckman. Standing in now, Zane Gerwitz. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. On to the shortstop, but thrown away. Tommy Nance is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. In now, Roberto Baldoquin. One and two. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, one one, might as well fish a little bit further. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. Standing in, Bo Way. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 1 home. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down. A base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 5 2 game, and he'll pull into second with one away. At the plate now, Jordan Zimmerman in there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. Bouncer to the left side. Dive, but it's off his glove, and the run should score. And that'll score the run from third, and don't look now, but the lead's cut to two here. The right fielder, number four, Brendan. To Blake now, Brendan Sanger. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Hit in the air out to center field. Davis is there, two gone. Striding forward now Alabama. is the DH, Connor Justice. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. set to start the ninth in this one and here comes the first baseman Alfonso Rivas now the one and one pitch line drive to left Young is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down now with the plate Arama Sadiman over two for him to this point one out nobody on Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ready for another shot now, Roberto Caro. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Waldo King ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Murray Black comes out of the bullpen to now shut things four, down four, here in the ninth. Number 50. Corey. All set Black. for the bottom of the ninth. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Kevin Maiton. The 1-1. One, one. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. 2-2. Two, two. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. Another full count pitch home. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. How about it? So coming to the plate, Edwin Young. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now, Jack Cougar. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Rip down the first base line. Ah, and they're going to get one back, and maybe both, as this is down for extra bases. At the plate, Zane Gerwitz. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, what a nice play there by that catcher on that breaking ball that was down and away. That's not an easy pitch to corral, particularly with a runner on third. And a swing and a miss. A big strikeout here as it will remain second and third, but with one away now. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. And that's not going to do it. Jim Brony ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Ben Hecht that's takes over good. on the mound that's now as great. he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Bo Wayne will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. The 1-1. One -one. Okay. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. He's falling behind now, three and one. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitch is falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Here's the one, two. Misses ball two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive. He brings it in, and they have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that's what you call flirting with disaster right there. Tying run on third, winning run on second, but that's where they stay. Hangs on to get the save, and that's all that matters. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Smokies wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Eric Ullman earns his fifth winner of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Here this evening, we remind you to please drive home safely.